what's up guys welcome back in today's video i'll be showing you guys how i do this water bending effect here in blender this is the part one of this water bending so i'll still show you the others part and this is the full breakdown of how i do it so first thing what i do now i always analyze my footage to see what is going to be done so as for this i intend to track this but at last i don't use camera tracking so you can see that i have errors on this so i don't track it because there's not enough parallels in this thing so i decided not to track it anymore so instead of that i decided to do it manually and it works out so let me show you the 3d viewport so you can see what is going on in the scene what i have here is i place two plane then i deform the plane just to have it on my hand and i just crop it then I track it instead of doing the tracking what I do is to do the keyframe you can see that there is a bunch of keyframe here so and it works you can see that it doesn't have to be perfect you just have to follow the hand and that's all that's all we need for this so you can see that I do it to start where I wanted to have the particles emit and the water to flow from so you can see each each plane here represent the hand emit particles so that's what is going on here and when I show you the emitter of the particles, you can see that this is the particle that will be emitted to this. And these particles are water. So I will show you what I mean by water. And wait, let me play this in outside. You can see that this particle deform and what it's doing here is, you can see the way it deform. And it's continually deforming and it's animated. So let me show you what I do to this. Let me just take one and let me show you what I do is I use a displacement modifier to this and you can see the displacements. So when I just crank this up, you can see what is going on. So that is how I do that and I just do with it empty. I emit it with empty. So let me show you the animation session here. So this empty represents it corresponds to this object and make it deform. So what I do is use generator modifier to this, you can see, and I give it a low value. So when it moves up, this empty moves up along this axis, the Z axis, and that is basically what it does. And for this empty, this animated with generator modifier. So now this modifier can do it like one, you can see it be more faster in displaying. You can just, you don't have to, you don't even see it anymore. So I just do 0, 0, 0, 5. So let me back to this, you can see. I give it a less of this animation, you can see. So that is why this water flow slowly, like you can see that it's doing. So what that's what I do to this, and I just select this empty, you just have to, when I off it, you can see that this is not playing anymore. You can see the animation for this stop. And let me choose the empty back. I just click here, then select the empty and everything back to display. So for the, let me just show you the shading and how I do the texturing of this object. Uh -huh. You can see this is water and what I use is I use HDR, the HDR I captured on the set, filming this shot. So that is what I use to do this. And this is the rendering. So let me show you the rendering part of this. It's a little bit slow right now, but it's coming up. Okay, so this is it. You can see this is what's going on in the scene. Okay, let me just show you. Let me change it to EV just to show you properly what is going on here. So it's going to be slow like this. So this is it. So what I do now is to go back. Then go back to the film session, then off transparency. So this is the HDR I use. This is the HDR I capture on set. And this is what I use in this. So you can see what is going on in the same. Okay, this is how I do the shading for this. And it's very simple. I just use the principal BFDF shader. Then what I do was, what I do was give it a transmission. You can see transmission should be one because it's water so as 100% more percent of transmission you can see here you can see i'll give you a permission of one and what i did here is to add a more grief texture in this so it will distort 
this you can see my off it wait for it so you can see how it looks so because i want distortion on it so i just give it this small grip and put it in the displacement of this output material output then it distorts it you can see how it distorts so it depends on how you want this to be distorted so you can increase the scale or decrease the scale i prefer decreasing the scale because it looks real like what i've done increasing the scale you can see what we got here if we are going to do like something like ice then i will address it to increase the scale so it will look more ice than just you can see what's going on so it looks more like ice but for water you just have to decrease it okay that's the part of this so the next thing let's go and check the emitter so this is the emitter for the hand let me just go to the camera view and the way i do this emitting is to just go to the particle system then for this i choose this theory this four object i place it under a collection you can see what's going on so this is the collection for water you can see water db i just give you the name so in this then we go back and i just come down let me just show you what i do here so in this rendering session so what i do is to select instead of select a single object when i instead of doing a single object for this i'm using a particles and i'm using a collection so i choose collection then i choose the water collection because the water collection has all these three objects four objects that i'm going to emit it has it so i just choose the water and it give it some random scale you can see the random scale is the scale so then you can see the scale itself you can see it depends on what you want you can see how small it is you can see how big it is so you have to do it the way you like but you have to choose something perfect for this okay so this is the scale i choose okay so that's that and you have to uncheck show emitter because if you don't uncheck show emitter and you render it you have you have this this emitter it will be rendered so let me just do a quick render let me play it again do a quick render for you guys to see what is going on so when i just render this You can see what happened that this emitter rendered. So, if you, if I don't want that emitter to be rendered, I will just uncheck the emitter, then render it once again. You can see that we don't have the emitter. So that is how you render particle system. Okay, guys. You know that when you are doing a particle system, the particles will fall down, and for this, it's the opposite. It flew up and fly around. You can see how it is. So let me just show you quick something this so let me add a new scene a new scene this is a new scene and i want to show you something if i just add just a sphere here then scale it up a bit so i want to add a new particle system to this and let me just play it to see what's going on you can see that the particle is falling down and this is not what we want you can see so let me just choose a stack modifier so you can have a particles emit from all over and you can see it. so but this we want these particles to emit throughout the frame so we increase the frame because this frame is about 250 you can see here so we just give it the end of 250 and more or more you can give like 400 if you, do, if you want it to play throughout the frame so this is how it should be you can see that it's still playing and the particle is still falling down and the fall throughout this frame because the end we give to this is even more than what we have here in the timeline okay so what i'm about to show you now is to how we can manage this for this this scale of the particles is one kg you can see so you can give it like 0.2 kg so you have to affect the weight first you can see that it's slow a bit but what i'm going to show you is not that really this so let's go down to the weight field and you can see that this gravity and we have all the red kind of weight here so the gravity determine how slow fall and how heavy this will be and if you have the gravity only one percent this will fall down as it always do you can see what is going on here so we don't want the gravity to be one percent let's drop down the gravity and instead it will be the inverse way 
the flare up, you can see that the gravity is going up. You can see what is going on. So and it's been amazing. So this is how you can do this, and you don't want gravity in this. So if you put the gravity, it will just come down, brrr, and that is how you can do something like this. And for this, you just have to do this. And if you check the one I did here, also let's go down to the field weight. So scroll down to see the gravity. You can see that I drop down the gravity. And if I just give this gravity, this effect won't work. So that's the way I do it. You can get this project file on my Patreon, and that is where you, you have access to my project file if you support me on Patreon. So for this other object, which is the second emitter, I did the same to this, so everything was just copied from one to another, and that's done. There's a lot being done in the particle system session, so you can see there's a lot of settings, but if you have the project file, you see everything and you know how I did it. Okay, that is that about the particle system, and I use HDR for this. You can see, let me just show you in this. So, shading. So, I just go to the world part. You can see now where I go back to here. Let me uncheck this, the film. So, what I do here is just to have this. Let me just click zero. You can see that I just corresponded to the exact position of the camera. So that is what I do. You can see it's it's not fit properly, but at least it does the job. So that is all matters. So that is all I'm going to show you. And for the compositing, it's very very simple. I've shown you a lot about compositing in the past. So there's not really something important to show in the compositing session. So that is all about this one. You can see. Okay, so that is that. I'm going to show you for this. So thanks for watching. I hope you like this video and it's just a full breakdown of how I do this. So there's nothing like tracking. It's just free frames. Then with particle system, emit from it, and I show you how I do the water, how I get the water. So how you can have an empty. So what what happens here is that I choose a location for the empty and I assign only a single keyframe on the empty. So when you click here on so the Z axis, just press option, then you set. A single keyframe you place a single keyframe you choose this one so after adding the single keyframe then you go to the animation now instead of going to the animation now you go to the curve you press n to bring the panel now for the modifier then you choose generator this is the generator modifier i choose so we have to choose the generator modifier to have that okay so that is that and you give it a very very low value so that this mc will not be fast so if it's very faster this animation will be very very much faster and that will not look like water that's why i do it like that so that's all about this thanks for watching guys and i'll see you guys in the next part